Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So a couple of things I really do enjoy about this chart. The first thing is that the oscillators are grouped quite nicely to the downside. Um, second thing is we do have this breakout of potential big potential head and shoulders. And what I do want to just highlight here is that is the head and shoulders and the target is a little bit lower down. So if we come here, we do have structure here at 13.804. We kind of uh, moved down to here during the, the session. Um, and then as the world, that was basically based on uh, Russia invading Ukraine. And then we had the world reacting of how they were going to deal with it. And it wasn't dealt with nuclear weapons. It was dealt with sanctions. So um, the market enjoyed that. And we started rallying. So at the moment, uh, it is still looking like a fairly decent area uh, that, uh, to be looking for value. I have um, diversions here on the three hour. I have price making a new, new low and the oscillator is making a higher low. So at the moment, this is starting to look like um, a potential bottom that is building. But that doesn't mean that the bottom is in. It uh, really just depends how the world responds. So if we have um, any of the European countries all of a sudden announcing a, a counter war or an attack on Russia or something like that, you know, that's going to send us into a tailspin yet again. So just be careful. You need to really be, be careful about this. Um, at the moment, we have the oscillators heading to the upside. We do have a bit of structure here. And then there is more. I just want to move this level here. So there, that is the previous breakout. Obviously, we've got the gap. So if we get above this and we form a base, I would expect us, basically what I would expect us to do is uh, sort of get above here, close the gap, come back, find support on 14300. We find support on 14300. That validates a double bottom, which is right over there. Okay, there's a neckline of the double bottom just there. So up back down and we start bouncing great opportunity for a potential long and that takes us kind of into there you can see there's a fractal there's a fractal another rejection of that level and if i go to the left you'll see there'll more than likely be more uh, structure there so that's kind of the view that i've got at the moment i think i'm very cautious of the shorts right now i think um uh, the potential for shorts has been priced in. It all just depends on how the world responds further today. And uh, all indications from last night are that it is going to be based on sanctions rather than war. So, um, which is a good thing for a lot of countries. It still not, doesn't solve Ukraine's problem and the people in Ukraine. But um, yeah, it looks like there is an, an attempt to just try and stabilize everything. So, that's kind of my my play on this today is uh, just see what happens here if we you know if we can sort of get above this base and find support at 14 300 uh, stop would be at the nearest swing low which would more than likely be this little area here uh, at 14 200 so just below 14 200 and then i'm looking for around 14 670 uh, the key here is this trend line as well so you can see it's either going to finish out or just a little bit higher up around 14700 or 14750 area and then i would expect a bit of a move down probably a big move down to try and find support on one of the lower levels and if we start finding support there then it'll be another opportunity for me uh, to buy into it so it is against trend so you can see the trend is down at the moment uh, the reason why we are in that mode is look at the three hour oscillators here diversions and cross over above the 20 so there's a high probability that this is a bottom that is in so that is what we are anticipating uh, lastly it would probably be 15 minute based so you can see a bit of a flag forming here break pull back onto 155 small position size tight stop losses um, because we are trying to guess the bottom but i do think uh, the bottom for the week is potentially in and we're probably just going to get a bit of a rally at least close a gap and Come and test these levels before coming back 
but it could be the start of a turn to the top of the range and that's this daily range here so yeah that's kind of my view at the moment uh, well worth just paying attention to it I think uh, there's too many signals at the moment that we have a potential move back up it might just be to come and test this break, previous breakout on the daily before another move down but that's kind of what it is anyway hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, on Monday morning enjoy your weekend cheers for now